<laughs> Would probably help if I got my art program up. I are smart. There we go. <laughs> Clip Studio Paint open. Yay. Hope everybody's doing well. We are going to get started here. And we're going to hope that things are going to work properly, because I don't know if they are. I think this is going to work properly. Nope, apparently not. Okay, so YouTube is going to get effectively... Oh, crap. YouTube is going to get the whole shebang, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. So yeah, I was trying to... I'm multi-streaming to YouTube. And I was hoping that YouTube would not receive certain audio. But it would appear that it's going to get the audio no matter what. Because only Twitch has the ability to apparently mute audio. So I'm going to turn the audio extremely down for you guys. You can just barely hear it. But for me, it's going to be much louder. Because I'm going to be working on a VTuber model. I should have taken my gloves out. Back. Hey, you know what? Come here. <laughs> oh, this is a cluster. Bit of a, bit of a clusterfuck. Oh, come here, you. Come here, you. <laughs> I need to move that. Sometimes I just forget to grab my gloves. You know, before all this starts. But it's fine. All fine. Got my glove. <laughs> I got my glove. Oh, gosh. The dingo and all his shit goes out the window. Raise the arm. Up. One. We both two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now my arm has proper support. Okay, so for a VTuber model... Um, I'm trying to think of what would be a good project size to work at. I could probably Google that. Excuse me. There we go. Let's see what most people use. See what other people use. Four to five K squared is what many artists go with. Very large image sizes, limited by system specs. Okay. I don't think I need to work at 4K. Yeah, 2048 by 2048 would probably be fine. No planet B. Okay, I'm gonna use that one. Real quick. Okay, so we're gonna use pixels. Uh, twenty forty-eight by twenty forty-eight. Though I feel like my model is going to be taller than it is wide, so what would be a good 
Yeesh. Actually, 11 by 17 probably would be... Yeah, that's actually probably really fine. Yeah, screw it. We're going to use 11 by 17. And then adjust from there. Going to design this new character. Ruler! Symmetry Ruler! Hope you are having a good day so far, and if not, open the group. Hello there, Joe! Joe19SH92. Not sure what all that means. But. Hello there! Hope you are having a good day as well. My day is. fine. <laughs> That is not what I want. I just I just want one line, please. Yeah, that's all I want. I just want I just want one division, please. My day is going okay. About as okay as it can go. My back feckin' hurts. <laughs> I fucking pulled my back. Like I didn't pull my back, but it's very, very sore. So clearly, some issues. But hopefully you're doing well. I need a drink of water. Throat's dry already. Mm. Uh, so we're just going to sketch up our model here. Earth has been deformed. Alright. So we're gonna want our chin to be. Did you hear that, bud? I know the feeling. Being older, being, <laughs> being older. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, I'm only 31, damn it. I shouldn't be feeling like this already. Uh, I'll probably have my chin. Come around there. Honestly, I'll probably use the whole width. Because there's really no reason not to use, like, most of this width. But I hope you are doing well. So yeah, that probably. Oh wait, why is this not? Why are you not affecting by ruler? What? Why is he ruler? Oh, crap. Uh, correction maybe. Turned well, if the sub tool will not snap to rulers even when snapping is turned. Okay, so I think I need that on. Yes, okay, so I needed that on for that to work. So, breathing, making the most of what I got, so yeah, I'm doing. All right, well, that's good to hear. Let's get rid of that. Rich, rich, rich. I want to have a bit of squareness to my to my sketch because I do like having a slightly more squared off art style. So yeah, a little bit more of a shallow curve there for the top of the dome. We can get rid of a little bit of that. So I know the main parts of my eye are going to be like here-ish. Probably 
probably something like that. Okay, I know I'm going to want my nose probably around here. Okay, probably a little higher, maybe? Yeah, because I think I can bring this down, actually. Because I do have a beard. Bring that. And I know I'm going to have glasses, so I have to be careful with what I'm doing here. So because I know my original chin was like here-ish, I'm going to leave that there just for that sake. So I know my neck, because I know my ears are going to be like Something like that ish. No, no, it might be a little too high. Well, let's. Raise it up a little bit. Because I know my glasses are going to be like. Kind of big, like, like here-ish. That. Yeah, I know this is gonna be for a VTuber. Uh, yes, I am a cartoonist, and I do music. So I'm a multifaceted artist. Oh, those are too fucking wide. Bring a... I don't have huge ears. <laughs> You normally the eyebrows would probably actually be a little bit lower. But because I'm kind of doing this in um more of a cartoon fashion. Something like that ish. I also know that I'm probably gonna want like like a like a beard or something like this. Uh, before my laptop died, I was a music composer and game developer. Fortunately, I can still do music on my la tablet. Well, that's cool. That sucks that the you know your laptop died, but I'm glad you're still able to do stuff. Uh, let's see. So I know I kind of want. Based on like this model, my neck is probably gonna be like here is. Kind of a this kind of shape for a body. So I am a chunky dude. 
am a big guy. Big guy. That's kind of our leg crotch area. I do have big old legs. Arms. Oh, my back. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Whew. As a musician, what kind of music do you do? Is it emotional based or via request to them? I just write whatever I'm feeling. If I feel like shit, which is, you know, 90% of the time, then uh, I write that. That. So yeah, it's it's mostly a like feeling driven. I don't think I'll add any highlights to the eyes. Uh, for the ear. Do that. Do that. Kind of like the part leading inside the ear. Well, the majority of this uh, for me, I do things in bulk. <laughs> pick out what they want, although the majority of the stuff I do is game-related, so oftentimes it fits into the RPG category. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Get rid of some of this. Unneeded. Some of this unneeded lines. Just clean that up a little bit. I think that should work. Uh, not sure how I want to do the hands. Probably this hand. Let me bring in a different image. You. Okay, that's kind of how I did the hands. <clears throat> so I'll probably do something similar. Really, I only need to show a couple things. I don't need to show all the fingers because, like, this angle is interesting. What kind of work do you excel in? A human landscape near her. I'm curious when it's towards when it comes to cooking. Um, probably definitely more like character oriented. So, you know, like what I'm drawing here, like more character driven stuff.
pretty much always in shorts. <laughs> and I do typically like shorts that go all the way down, like, past the knee. Like, that's just a personal thing for me. I could probably make those arms a little shorter. The bus and the fortress, uh, for the most part, yeah, like, um, I'll do full drawings like this and all. It's kind of just whatever I need to draw. Now, because I know what this is for, I'm going to draw through a little bit here because I know... Because I know I'm going to need that as a separate piece later. Oh, and I've got like a mild migraine. Lovely! Boy, do I love my body so much. Let me try to sharpen that angle a little bit more. There we go. That way I have a little more Logo room to play with for the uh, for this area because you can just see I don't really divide certain aspects. Lighten that a little bit. Uh, I've done work for a few, um, uh, for like animation stuff. That's the only thing that's ever been like released. And we got a hydrate. Thank you, Grim. Oh, please try my question are too nosy. I'm genuinely curious about the you know, No, you're fine. I do not mind whatsoever. That's what yeah, it seems like I definitely go a little higher sometimes on this drawing. Although on my real beard, it's actually much lower. See, it's hard because I'm trying to, like, make it look like me. But, uh, <laughs> not the easiest thing to fucking do for me is drawing myself. Even though I've been doing it for fucking years. Also, howdy how, Grim Void. How you doing? Straighten that out a little bit. Although I do have like a really big lobe. The thing is going to be how I'm going to cut this up. So I'm like paying very close attention to, I guess, where my divisions are going to be. And trying to note them through the art. Oh, God. How you doing, Void? Oh, jeez, you have COVID? 
I'm sorry, dude. I may prefer body types or physical styles that you prefer. Can you handle says pizza? I don't really have any like preferred stuff. I'm a cartoonist, so I warp things no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear that, Grim. Hope you start feeling I hope to like have have the symptoms hit. I know this has got to at least come in like that. Erase some of this. Feel like a science fiction with sore throats and mild ach achiness. Jeez. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. As long as you're not these older than 70, younger than 10, or have a quick <laughs> use. Yeah. Typically, wear pretty low socks. I don't know what the fuck these shoes are. <laughs> Kind of just made these shoes up on the fly, <laughs> and they make no sense whatsoever. But they will do for now, while I... Just kind of lightly clean some of this up. Oh, okay. Optimus roll roll out. <laughs> Autobot sneakers, yeah. Cause like you can tell my outfit's pretty fucking pretty simple. It's just black shirt, blue jeans. Yeah, so here's how I drew him before. So I probably could. Oh yeah, see if I do that, it moves them both. So I gotta do this kind of the hard way. Try to bring these out a little bit more. Hmm. 
Set on fire. Set on fire. Set on fire. So stuff like this. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Well, this is kind of the base to build from. So I'm drawing kind of myself for the most part. Usually a because all shoes have this fucking bump for some stupid reason. There we go. That's work. That that's fine. Uh, for this, there would be like a tie thing here. I will make that look a little bit better later. Oh god, my back! Thank you for the follow. Oh, I just realized I don't have my fucking alerts on. There we go. Turn the alerts back on. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I mostly wear black shirts, so... Now, I do need to draw through because if this is going to have physics then yeah I need to draw through <laughs> oh my back really hurts so yeah normally with like a beard you would have like this bit here which comes down here and you know you have your have your area there although mine's not very trimmed so even this area here is like really so that's how you would draw it if you were really trying to be like more accurate the problem with this is it makes it really hard to see like expressions and such So that would be more accurate to how I actually look. But for the sake of mouth expressions, I like keeping it like this. Because this allows for better um, mouth movement. So if I want to have like my mouth like open, it's, it's easier to, uh, to do that for stuff like that. Uh-uh. Brother. Jiggle physics. Well, no, I'm not having jiggle physics. I'm going to have hair physics for my beard. I'm fat, but I'm not going to accentuate my fat breasts. <laughs> All right, let's save this, actually. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Uh, we're going to name this one. We Hoover model. Put this in here. 
Oh, my back. <laughs> I really hurt my back yesterday. <sighs> so, like, for, for me, this is almost enough. Like, the only thing I need to add, obviously, are the sleeves, which would be mostly form-fitting around the shoulder. And then right here, it would come down... Something like that. And then for this, because I like to keep my my clothes very loose, this would come down here and come across like that. Because again, I like to keep my clothes uh, mostly loose. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But I am going to have like accessories and stuff as well. First. An Irish hat, because I do actually own an Irish hat. Uh, mine's a little bit thinner than a lot of these ones are, but these should do. Let's find some good, some good straight-on shots. Um, it's really hard to find it like straight on. That one's a little too puffy. Come on, give me something a little more straight ahead, please. People suck. Okay, this one's slightly more straight ahead. That. Call it what it is, an Irish cap. So far, this is like the only one that's really straight on. But I like how some of these ones go a little bit flatter down. Which is more like how my hat does. Let me just find something... I guess that one's close. I could also just put on my hat and just take a picture. Like, I have a fucking hat. Oh, there's a good one. Look at this handsome gentleman. Thank you, sir. Look at this. Look at this handsome, fine fella. Thank you, my friend, for having... Really good picture. Just going to paste that right there. Come here, you. That is a tiny ass image. Just uh, bloop. <laughs> do that for my sake. For my for my own sake here. Okay, so we have. Kind of a curve that, because yeah, it does kind of go in front of it. Wow, it actually does go like more in front of the ear. So we get kind of um, all down. Actually, yeah, let me make this in its own layer now that I'm thinking about it. Whoop. Yeah, let's make this its own thing. So let's try. Just kind of. Oh, duh. You always got to transfer the fucking thing over.
It's got a nice shape to it, yeah. I like this. See, it definitely goes over the eyebrows. See, the problem is I have my eyebrows really high here because of this figure, the way I have the, the glasses. I don't want the eyebrows to go too far under, but I might have to to make this um, work more properly. See, this is the hard part, is, like, the fact that this... The fact that this area here tucks under a second area flap here. Because that's how Irish caps work. I mean, you can kind of see in, um, like, some of these photos. Yeah, you can kind of see in that one. It's a secondary piece that goes under. So you kind of really have to be careful. Because there is this kind of like... And this also has stitching, which is wonderful. How far back does that stitching go? Oh, good. It goes all the fucking way up. Wonderful. So you have this, which is kind of a fold. So this is just a fold. But then you have a stitch that comes up here and follows this whole thing up. I'm going to curve that a little more. Oh, yeah, this is going to be difficult to get this to look right. Music's not too loud, is it? I have it really low. I think there's... Is there a stitching? No, that's just a bulge. Nope. Okay, cool. Far away from my... Oh, wow. Actually, I have very little gap. See, I would actually need to raise... My mouth a little bit more. What? Oh, wrong layer. To be a bit more closer to how I am. Do I have that here? Yeah, you can see how much gap I have there. Because you can also treat this as your upper lip. Like that line there, you can see he has the exact same way a mine is. actually a multi-part stitch too. Back off. So this has a bit of a stitch going through its center. Do here is because we're getting a little lost here. We will take take this. Yes, and we can use this as a way of um, kind of erasing without actually erasing. Actually erase that. There. That gives us a better look at kind of the way that cap would be looking right now. That's how the, the hat would look. And because of the way it's designed here, as you can see here, 
there's not going to be a lot of folds because it 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 doesn't it goes kind of straight here for the most part. Unlike a standard hat like this, which has like a brim. These would only have like superficial folds, like little um divots at best and uh, some tension div divots. So at most I might have like a little something like that. Like a little like tension divot there or um like little tension uh divots and stuff like that. Oh god. Come on back. <laughs> Now, the one thing I'm going to have to look up is... Hunter, Beard, Braid. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use a symmetrical tool for that. <laughs> See, the problem is my beard's not that thick. Unfortunately. So when my beard would be, like, if I braided my beard, it would honestly be about as thick as that one, unfortunately. Wish mine was that fucking thick, that I could get a good braid like that. Oh yeah, no, I could definitely use some uh, painkillers. That might be my reference, though. But yeah, my beard is not super thick, unfortunately. But yeah, this might have to be my reference. Because it's very easy to see the delineation. Although this one's actually really, really clear. That one's really clear. And so is that one. You can really see the, the braid. But this one, the color matches, so... So this might be my reference. Why does the fucking right click not want to work sometimes? Yeah, that might that might be my reference there. Fuck. Okay, and that image is too big. <laughs> that. Don't need this whole image. Gonna control shift I, delete. I'm actually gonna trace over this real quick. Because you have kind of a line here. Oh, let me... <clears throat> yeah, don't use red. You have kind of a your first chunk here. You have kind of a bit here. Comes like that. See, beards are fucking or not beards, but braids break my brain sometimes because of how they work. Because you just have all of this shit going on, and it's like, fuck. Like, look at that. That's so fucking crazy, man. Like, look at that. It's so fucking crazy. Ugh. I gotta somehow try to mimic this shit. I hate braids. Braids suck ass.
like obviously you're gonna have the first bit of a triangle and then this bit is gonna do something like that I guess because then you have a chunk coming there but then you have a chunk coming like that across like that which is part of that chunk you have a chunk coming off thank you for the follow I queen for goblins <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. I Queen for Goblins. I like that name. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. All right, let me. So then we're going to have a bit here that's going to have a bit. Because, see, this bit comes out here, but then immediately breaks to go like that. That comes in. Because it comes out? No. So I've got one, two. And I got one, two. I got a third one there, which is that one. I got a fourth one there, which is that one. I have a mini one here, which. Yeah, because this one does this weird shit, but then I have like a little mini one there. Like that. Oh, this fourth one didn't stagger enough. I needed to stagger these a bit more. So yeah, like this number here, this one here needs to be a bit bigger, actually. So it's like this. So this one needs to come down more. Yeah, because I'm supposed to have a clear cut there, so I'm supposed to have this one come down a bit more. I'm supposed to have a more of a braid to fucking Jesus Christ, I hate be braids. Uh do I have a brush? <laughs> one sec. I might have a fucking brush. Knowing me, I have a fucking braid brush. If I do, I'm fucking using it. Did I download a bunch of hair brushes? Yes, I did. Like a braid or something. B R A I D. I could have sworn I downloaded a fucking braid. Nah, ha ha! Close. Close. What's this? Let me, um... Manga material? No, no, no. Let's look all. Kind of? That's braided rope. You know what? Boop. When in doubt, try to find someone who made a rush. Oh, my fucking back. Oh, that fucking hurts. Fucking hurts. Ow. Braid. Free. Brush. I just need to find one that's... I don't know, that's actually a pretty good one. But I want one that's not as detailed. Things like this one. Although this looks like it's just a double braid. Hmm... Braids usually made of three pieces, normally. Like, I don't remember braids being just two pieces. Hmm. Okay, that's all. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, this one makes it look like it's actually got three bits. Hmm. 
trying to decide on which brush I want to use. Because I want one that's relatively simple. Because I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to go over it anyway, so it doesn't really actually matter. <laughs> so I just need a decent brush that does a decent job at a braid. That's really detailed, so I don't really need that. Oh, my back. Meh. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which one I should use. Like, I guess that one's fine. That would do the trick. But, like, even when you look at, like, a real person's beard braid. Like, like, look at that. That's... See, because it's like a chunk here which is going clearly through there and through there. There's a chunk here that's going through there through there. But then there's this, like, other bit here. Where the fuck's that going? I don't know! I don't know! Also, has my... I feel like it's... Why is it only sometimes following the mouse cursor? Also, thank you for that follow. Okay, and then it's following the cursor just fine there. That is weird. Um, thank you for that follow. I think that was on YouTube. Because I am streaming on YouTube at the moment. Uh -huh. I'm spending way too much time trying to find a fucking brush. This is stupid. I just need to pick one. Let's just see what this looks like. Hopefully this person actually made an example. Yeah, see, that one's like super realistic. I want something a little less realistic. Two color braid... Braid thick line. Uh, this one looks like it might work. Let's see. Okay, see, this has a bunch of different, like, braids and pigtails. Yeah, like, something like that probably would work. Alright, let's try this one. And we'll get one more for good measure. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe this one for good measure. I doubt I'll use this one. I might. Who knows? It's good to have extras. Yeah, when you fucking use that, though, it like always looks weird. Thankfully, this is just going to be for... Um, like, a reference underneath that I'm going to trace over. Clear. There we go. Downloaded. Okay, so we got some new brushes here. Let's uh, pull one. Let's see? Oh, duh. I need to fucking... Doesn't have any fucking variants. You need to have pen pressure, you son of a bitch. There you go. Okay. See, that should work. That might work for us. Because then I can do stuff like this. And kind of fade it. I 
And then I'll just cut it off at a certain point and redraw pieces of it. Let's have you be red. Oh, duh. I need to fucking delete what's already there. Fucking idiot. Uh, we'll see if this works. Red. Nothing else. This gives me something to kind of work with. And then I'm going to use T. Um, distort, maybe? Yeah, because then I can do shit like this. Transform. Hmm. Right now I'm just trying to find the best spot to put it, which I think probably right around there would be a good spot. And then, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is cut you. I'm going to turn you blue for a moment so I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing here. Because I have black, please. I have this coming like this. So I can have this go like that. Have that come like that. <clears throat> Same for you. You start coming that way. So I might actually bring that like that. But then have it come around. Have this come here. Like that. Dude, this actually works really well for me. Like, could I eventually figure this out on my own? Yes. Like, I, I know I can. It's just, right now, I am just not in the fucking mood to be dicking around with fucking braids and shit. Okay, so now I need to kind of pull this in a bit more because we're reaching the point where I would like to do stuff like this. And have like a a thing at the end of it, like that. So, oh, I kind of need to bring this back. I need to bring this in a bit more. So I need this to actually start coming in a bit more quickly. Which I could just do this, and then just do this. And I could even do this to like show, actually I could do something like this to show that it's like pulling in. So something like that. Yay. I believe that's supposed to. Yeah, cause I think this is supposed to touch there. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to go like that. Yeah. I can do a little bit more of a, a flick with that one, which would be nice. And then just do a couple, like, strands of hair coming up. Shit like that, you know? So shit like this. This should work. 
this one, which is that, I can erase. this and I can actually bring that back to here so I can erase both at the same fucking time that's where my chest goes see that looks pretty fucking good okay cool I'm glad I did that No. Yes. And this is why digital is so fucking good. And the thing is, this is definitely going to need kind of its own way of being. Obviously, because we're working a little bit here with um, slightly different system. Because this obviously needs to be able to move. So this is going to end up being kind of its own thing, roughly. Like, like probably like that. Like, that's probably what the total image will look like. It's something like, oh, wait, but then there's this braid here. Ooh, that's right. So, yeah, no, you are definitely going to be... <sighs> oh, this is going to be tricky. Let's bring you back down and let's instead just do it like. A much shorter spike like that. Actually, yeah, let's just have this come like that. Get rid of that all together. And now. This shape here. is its own entity. So obviously, that would probably be cut off there. That would be cut off like there. But that gives you an idea of like what the total shape is going to be. In fact, if I use a kneaded eraser... There. That gives you a better idea. <clears throat> That's the total image. So we got a lot of nice parts here to work with. Now, the eyes are going to be tricky because the way I drew them, having them close is going to be fun. <laughs> because obviously I need the top, I need a bottom lid, stuff like that. So maybe over here... I'll just try to figure out the eyes. So I know I tend to draw my eyes like this. I don't really ever, I don't really draw the bottom lid very often. This is just going to be a big circle. Like obviously it would go all the way through. You have that. So, we need to figure out how these shapes are going to work. So, obviously, that's kind of how I draw my... Back to a soft brush, please. That's how I roughly draw my stuff. I might adjust it slightly to make it work better for a VTube model. So, this whole thing up here, or, um, like, this whole one here, will probably be its own line. <clears throat> so, if I were to divide these, let me, let me actually draw them in divisions. So, this is probably going to be its own line, like, its own dedicated line. Um, obviously, we're going to have to have a bottom lid, so that would be this. This will probably be its own thing. And then, obviously, the eye is its own thing, the eyeball. 
And then with that, I think I should be able to draw a relatively good bottom kind of eyelid and a top eyelid. See, that's going to really have to come down. So that's going to have to be the lid shape. So this is the shape that covers things when the eyes closed. So when the eyes close, that needs to kind of come down on itself. Because a closed eye for my character would probably be Probably just very simply this, just kind of a simple shape like that. So we're also going to have the shape of the, um, the whites of the eye, which, oof. Yeah, the white of the eye is technically like... Well, no, that's way too big. Um... Ah, no. Because the white of the eye would probably be something like this. I'm trying to think of where the eyeball would be. Because that's, that's what I'm trying to draw here is the eyeball, the whole, the whole fucking eyeball. Let me just do that. Oh, I did not just fucking do what I think I just did. Yep. On the same layer, because I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm fucking... I'm stupid. Shh, just fucking leave me to my own devices. There. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, okay, that's why, because I had that on a different layer. So that's probably the eyeball itself, Jesus Christ, that's fucking huge. Um, but unfortunately, that's because that's just how I drew my eye. Hmm. Actually, no, that makes sense, because when you're looking forward, your eyes definitely come in a little bit. So that's probably fine. So something like that. So that would be the white of the eye. <sighs> so that's kind of what we're planning on for the eye is this shape and this structure. <clears throat> oh, I just realized that one of these fucking layers... Yeah, this layer had the, the fucking thing there. Let me, uh... XP. So I can get rid of that. There. So that's basically what we're working with here is all of this. <laughs> Pretty sure I can have this show in other layers. Show in same folder, that's what I should do. I'll do it that way. So this is kind of what we're working with for now. Where's... is it this? Yeah, you were that. I know that needs to go like that. Oh, fuck, that's right. So this is a... hmm... Yeah, this is going to have to come around. Oh, fuck.
gonna have to come around like that. Or about where they connect. Again, I'm just like trying to figure out the shapes we gotta make. We got we got this shape. We got this shape. Like at this point, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm just dissecting this uh, for, you know, for actually rigging in uh, Live 2D. Uh, the fingers we'll figure out, because I don't think I'm going to have the fingers be individual pieces. I'm going to have it so that my hand gesture, just sh like my hand... Um, when I do a hand gesture, it changes the hand entirely. Um, those hands could probably be bigger, honestly. It's really close to the fucking pin, because my hand isn't, like, tiny. And yeah, I probably could shrink a little bit of this. God damn it, fucking fuck. Okay. See, this is what I don't like about the symmetrical tool. Is this shit like is shit like this. It honestly doesn't work sometimes. Because it's not taking into consideration what I'm actually trying to fucking do here. Which is to symmetrically draw. But that means when I do this, I want that to go the opposite way. I want it to be a symmetrical move. Yet it doesn't. And yet it doesn't. And yet it fucking doesn't. And I don't understand why. Ugh. Never under fucking stood why it doesn't. Yeah, and it just like doesn't take into consideration what I'm trying to do. Uh, so I have to, like, move these fucking manually now. Motherfucker. Oh, God damn it. Only one side really matters, so it's not like it really fucking matters that much. Because I can just copy this and mirror it. That should work. I'll just fucking undo a lot of that. <clears throat> Copy B. No. No. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah, and it only does it that way because it's a fucking asshole. Wait, what? What? That should be almost perfect. Okay, I'm going to select more of this then. No. Did I really change that much? Fuck. Okay. 
You know what? It's fucking good enough for now. Why does your character have a... F Wait, why does your character have a forearm elbow? What do you mean? What do you mean a forearm elbow? You talking about this? Pretty sure I did not get those fucking perfect. In fact, I know I can test that by just doing this. Yeah, not perfect. I'm not sure what you mean. There are the only elbow area is here, and it's technically back behind here. Like the elbow would be like, well, how do how do I have the hand here? Yeah, no, the elbow would be like here, in the back. This here is your forearm. Like, technically, you would also have a bump down here. Like, you would have, um... Well, here. You have your arm. Like, this is how I draw arms. The elbow would be, like, hidden back here. You have kind of a, a muscle area here. You have your, kind of your... You would have, like, an extra muscle bit here, which would actually be doing this. Obviously, your your bicep does shit here, like that. That's your bicep. Your tricep and all is like back here. And there's like other shit going on. So yeah, got a bit of a curve. Like this is definitely a little bit more stylized, but that is kind of how your arm roughly goes when you have like muscles and stuff. I'm just deciding to put the curve over here. So rather than have this be like more subtle, like like this, and having the main bump over like here, which is closer to the way it really is, I wanted to do it more in a um, shape like this. So having a, sh a curve and then a W. And I get this from, like, watching, um, you know, cartoons. <laughs> so if you ever watch, like, Batman the Animated Series, Justice League the Animated Series, you'll see that. Uh, in fact, here, I can... Uh, Batman, PAF. That's fine. You can see there, kind of that shape. Uh, you can especially see it here when, in later years, Bruce Tim like, really pushed it more. But that was just kind of his thing, was you have a straight, and then you have kind of the curve. So that's just kind of a, a stylistic thing. In his early days, he would do it a little bit more realistically. But then he started stylizing it even more as the years went on. Um, so I do kind of closer to the more, like, heavily stylized version. <laughs> I didn't realize it was doing it on both sides. That's funny. That's funny. Anyway, that's good enough. When I go to trace this, when I ink it, it'll be fine. And then I'll separate them later. I feel like I need to go fucking lay down and like let my back straighten for a moment. So I think that's it 
for this figure for now. Like, that's all the main bits. Honestly, the inking is going to be the most uh, intensive part. Because, yeah, I don't really have any other details. Save this as... God damn it, let me fucking right-click. Mother... God... Sometimes it won't do it. Yeah, that's kind of what we're working with. It only took me an hour and thir hour and a half, really, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I definitely feel like I need a break before I work any further. This is getting bad. Also, my mouth is getting dry. God damn it. <laughs> Right, let's set up some of this stuff. <sighs> Eyes. Um. The face itself can be kind of its own thing there. Um, neck. Jesus Christ, put it. Hate you. Uh, body. Uh, arms. Torso. Legs. That goes. No, come on. No. In here. There. I know I'm going to need to break down things even further, but for now, this is fine. So we got the head. Oh, now you want to nest. But yeah, I'm going to have to do the base of the head. The Irish only. <laughs> the Irish only, yeah. Uh, obviously, the ears are going to be their, need to be their own thing, but this base is going to be its own thing. The glasses are going to be their own thing. So there's a lot of things that are going to be their own things. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it. That needs to not be there, because... Yeah, because I need to draw through. So we're going to do the base, which is just this, like, structure here. We're going to use... What pen do I feel like using? Do I want to use my... How big do I want the line work to be? It's not... Yeah, that should be pretty good. So yeah, again, this is just going to be mostly the... This outer shape
No, oh, wait, I can actually take advantage. E final. Yes. <laughs> I'm having trouble here. There we go. There we go. Pull out, the, pull up to the course. Pull out the an iron and stuff. So yeah, nah, I think I'll go with the wedge. <laughs> I mean, it's because it's just like in real life. Like certain tools, you want to work a certain way to get a, a specific look. All right, I know I want this. Come down a little bit. Although I only want that much of it to actually go under like that. I'll probably have it stop there because I don't think I'll ever have the beard go in a way where that will be visible. Stuff like that. Um, see, the nose definitely has to be its own thing. So this is going to have to connect. Or get close to connecting at the very least. So that's all I need for that. And just to show you kind of like what, what's up here. Is the coloring is going to take care of a lot of work here. So like... Marker. Now way fucking in. So that's the base. That's what's going to go underneath of everything else. That's the base. Which we can hide. Um, the neck will obviously be its own thing. And I think I'll count this as part of the neck. And then do that. Basically, it's just that.
I'm thinking of inst maybe instead of like full black, maybe I'll go blue, like a dark blue. Black would hide things better. <laughs> like obviously. We'll go black for now, but we'll we'll decide on that. Well, let's let's see, because I do have a couple like dark blue shirts. Well, I have one dark blue shirt. <laughs> it's more of a gray. We'll go we'll go with that. We'll go with like a dark gray. Um. Well, that color's there now, so I can always pull it back up if I need to. So that's the neck. Uh, let's do the eye. Ooh, you see, the eyes are going to be real tricky. Because we got the... Oh, see, I'm going to have to divide it all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to divide a lot of this. So this is going to be many layers. Also, I have to pee, so... So I will be right back. Beer be everybody. Okay. All right, I'm back. Whoa. I know I want this. That needs to be its own thing. Mm 
Uh, something like that. I know I kind of want that to be its own thing as well. So yeah, this is going to get fucking fun real quick. So, like this. See, again, I don't normally draw an under, under part of my eye. That's the problem. But as you start closing the eye, you kind of need it. So I guess I could keep it really, like, kind of subdued here. And then just stretch it. So yeah, each of these is their own thing, so. Upper eye line. Uh, corner eye line. Lower eye line. I need to... Ah, oh, but that's not even going to be skin-colored, is it? Because if I do it based on, like, how I have this with my glasses on... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's fine, honestly. I would white. Because, yeah, this is going to be like. It's going to be like this. That. Uh. It's going to need to be the uh, the lower one as well. Lower eyelid white. See, this one's going to be fucking weird because it's going to be like this. I don't know. We'll figure it. This will be figured out at some point. But that should allow me to do what I need to do. Oh, okay. See, now I need the eyeball. Eyeball's gonna need to go in a weird spot, I guess, because it needs to be under everything except for the whites. I, well, actually, no, it needs to be under everything. So, eyeball. No, this is the Irish. Um, Irish. Lines. Irish. Colors. Because, yeah, this is the iris. Uh, the iris. The pupil is its own thing. Now, this I might actually just kind of cheat a little bit. 
and use a use that. Let's try, is this 12 going to be good? I'm sorry, but why are you going from there? I always have you go from the center, what the feck? Yeah, start from center, you fucker. Not a terrible spawn, honestly, for it. That get all fucked. Brush size, um, brush shape, maybe? Ooh, yeah, that one. That one's the one I want. Uh, I can go a little thinner, actually. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And then for the eye, the pupil, which can go on top, it's just black. Pupil. Oh my god, back, stop fucking hurting! Yep, that looks good. All right, and then we have the iris color, which is just going to go under there. And then we're going to grab that marker brush and go all the way under. And we're actually going to hide. Yeah, I thought so. To make sure that this actually goes all the way. There we go. Uh, oh, excuse me. And that's the eyes themselves. We're going to have the glasses. Hide the eyes for now. Now here's the thing, the nose is gonna end up going over that by a little bit, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Line going back is going to be fun. Because I'm going to have to mask that to the, uh, to the ear. There's honestly why I usually like to just make it a line and not any thicker. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll just do that. 
And I'll do the same for this, honestly. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, and then the glasses, this color is just going to be fucking white. Yep, just like that. See, the eyes are going to have to technically go above and then be masked. Oh, oh Jesus. All right, so... Glasses. Now I need some of the other facial features. So this is just going to be mouth line one, because I am going to need uh, two mouth lines. The fuck did I just fucking what the fuck did I just do? Oh, I don't even know what the fuck. Oh, I never knew that Control B does that. Interesting. I've learned something. Honestly, I might even chop and just make it a nice curve to make life easier on me later on. And then honestly, you can just make a duplicate. Just call it mouth line two to handle the mouth like opening and closing and shit. We'll see. I haven't decided on how I want to do this exactly. Honestly, I might make these lines their own thing, to be honest. Because <laughs> I'm realizing that doing the nose the way I do the nose is going to be a fun experiment. I might make I might make this separate. Now we'll ignore it. We'll just do that. That. that takes care of the nose. Now we need the eyebrows. I brows. now, because there's actually going to be a lot more to the fucking mouth.
And if you're wondering why the beard and the eyebrows are two different colors, it's because uh, my hair, when I had hair, was more of a dirty blonde. And yet my beard has much more of a slightly redder tint to it. So, that's why. That's why. Okay, so that's the eyebrows. Now we got the mouth for now. I'll have to add on to the mouth, of course. Ears. Eyes. Colors. The ears are going to be fucking weird. Because the ear is basically always going to be behind everything else because of the beard. There's my ears. Well, the thing is, you need to separate any piece that needs to warp and move on its own independently. And remember, a lot of this is going to get merged down. Like, these aren't going to be two pieces. This is going to be one thing, and there's going to be two ears. Because as I turn the head, things have to warp differently. As I turn my eyes, things have to warp differently. So, I kind of have to do it a certain way. That fucking hat is going to be a pain in the dick, and I might say that for another day. So, yeah. Ears done. Uh, let's do this lower beard thing, I guess. Which is technically part of the face. So I'm going to put it above. Beard braid. Lines. Colors. Right, okay, so let's figure this fucker out. Right, I need to turn that off now. What the fuck? I right-clicked it. I didn't want to... Whatever, fuck off.
Okay, let's go like that. Get that going this way. You'll probably notice that I'm adding a little bit of extra weight on connection points and also any area that's going to be facing away from the light. So like that is a little thicker, but then as it comes up here, it'll be a little thinner. But I also want to make sure I sure up some of these connection points specifically add a little bit more oomph there There we go. And then we'll add a little bit of uh, flare here and there. Nothing too crazy, obviously, but a little bit here and there just to add a little bit of texture. So yeah, stuff like that. And we'll go in here and start coloring. Yeah, basically we just need to make a shape for that. And a little bit of Coloring. Oh, right, I need to do the bottom part of that, too. Uh -huh. I forgot the little spike at the end. Although I might make that its own thing, honestly. Like, that might be kind of cool to have as its own thing. Um. Back! Make some, like, something kind of brown, dark. Cause then it can kind of float on its own, but nah. Nah, let's make it let's make it the just the same for now. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Look at that majestic feckin' beard. Wait. Okay, so we got the beard braid. Done. Got all the different pieces of the fucking face done as well. I think that's everything on the face, at least. Or at least on the head. 
Now we gotta do some of the body stuff. Oh. So that'll probably be like this area up here. This torso will be its own thing. I'm not gonna divide it too much. So it'll basically be kind of like this shoulder area here. Which I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna do oh wait, 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 wait. Turn that back on. I hate you. So stuff like that, maybe. Under part of the shirt. <clears throat> yeah, that should work. Forgot how quiet Wind Hand is. Okay. Yeah, honestly, that's it for the torso. All right, now where was that piece? Well, actually, I can just do all this. So I need that. Ooh, right, the beard needs to go at the top of everything. Yeah, face, eyes, glasses. is go on top of everything okay so I got that color that I need okay. Get a little bit of a piece there to kind of Make that work. Whoa, why did you do that? Oh, because I'm stupid and didn't finish this. This might have to be adjusted at some point, but we'll see. But for now, this is pretty much the torso. And I will add just a little bit of line work right here just to kind of... Uh, actually, let me turn that off. Stop selecting different layers. I don't see that should be good enough. Just two little lines should be more than enough for that. So yeah, torso done. The arms. Those are the tricky parts. Oh god, my back! <laughs> you need to put like some fucking heat and ice on my back. Oh, so I might have to end the stream here because my back's starting to hurt. Oh god. Yeah, that's really starting to fucking hurt. Oh god. So yeah, unfortunately I am going to have to call that here just because my back's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt bad. Anyway, thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. I highly appreciate you. Um, I don't know if anyone's even on to raid. I'll have to check. Twitch, is anyone I usually do? Not really. No. So yeah, that's fine then. So yeah, I'm just going to end it here and take...
some rest, put some ice on my back. And in the meantime, thank you all so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.